Welcome, thank you for stopping by, and here we go, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is the day, the episode where finally one of these two accounts completes the long and arduous journey to the sixth builder. That is right, no cash clash versus gold pass clash in this series that is only 13 episodes in the making, but of course, a lot more work went into getting these villages to where they are today. And we are running into a similar problem in both accounts, and that is that we need several more days of raiding in order to have enough elixir to do the next battle machine upgrade, yet we have a free builder and lots of gold. So I suggest anybody who is on this journey with me, make sure that you get those gold upgrades going, but also time the gold upgrades so that they are completed before you have enough elixir to get that battle machine upgrading, you always want to make that the number one priority. And no cash clash did. We upgraded the clock tower in the meantime, which is of course going to further increase the efficiency of the battle machine upgrade. And here we go. Level 27 incoming. We are so close that we can feel it. But gold pass clash is that much closer and of course traveling more quickly. We've got the discounts. We also have a rune of builder elixir that's about to go into effect. But again, take a look at the win bonus, multiply it by three, add the three win bonus, and you will see how much loot you can gather each day. For me, it is 480,000 builder elixir. So we know it's going to take a couple of days. So we know that we can go ahead and start a lava launcher upgrade and not delay the upgrades in the battle machine. And of course, the Lava Launcher upgrade will help out a little bit in defenses at some point. But, you know, honestly, the loot difference in the different leagues over here, moving up or down one or even two leagues, isn't really going to change the speed of the upgrades that significantly. Over months, yes. Over days and weeks, not really. So don't sweat it. Don't worry about pushing as high as you can. Make sure you get to 3,000 trophies at least once to pick up those free gems. Other than that, not really concerned, 2,600, 3,000 trophies, anywhere in between is just fine. We're going to get there. And of course, you guys know by now, right? The early episodes of this series, Gold Pass Clash was way behind No Cash Clash in the progress to the sixth builder. However, because of the discounts, because of the extra runes, and of course the discounts in time, and even the extra clock tower potions like you saw right there, Gold Pass Clash has closed the gap to one day. Everything else is the same as far as gear ups, the battle machine upgrades. Gold Pass Clash is one day behind No Cash Clash as they both hit level 27. Again, like we just talked about, No Cash Clash is going to pick up an upgrade that it can get done without delaying or tying up the builder for the next battle machine upgrade. So a firecrackers being upgraded the firecrackers, some firecrackers, a firecrackers. That's a tough one. Well, it's plural in the firecrackers, but singular in the... Okay, fine. In the meantime, we're sitting here waiting for the elixir collectors to gather just, just the tiniest bit more elixir to get us over 3.8. There it is, 3.8 million. We're trying again to be efficient, to make sure that the moment that we can get these upgrades started, we are, and there it is. No Cash Clash is ahead of Gold Pass Clash, going to level 28 first. But wait a minute, Gold Pass Clash, level 30. Okay, yeah, as you guys might have remembered, we did have a boost running recently. So even though the boost took the battle machine to level 30, we are not quite there yet. We tried to cheat the system. We know that some players have gotten this because of the bug from the last update that apparently has been fixed now. So there probably aren't any more players out there that have lower level battle machines and have the sixth builder 3.9 million elixir guess what this is where we are going to take over the battle machine already at level 28 is going to now get the level 29 upgrade instantaneously okay we're gonna we're gonna fill the elixir to get the upgrade instantaneously we'll still have to wait a couple of days for the actual upgrade itself to complete in fact four days but again, that's way faster than No Cash Clash. So yes, at this moment, this point in time, Gold Pass Clash has surpassed No Cash Clash and the finish line is in sight. In the meantime, yes, the air versus ground wars continue. 
Gold Pass Clash, even without the Battle Machine, has now boosted those level 18 sneaky baby, sneaky baby, oh, I am, I am definitely hooked on sneaky goblins, but no, those are dirty, not sneaky baby dragons, and they, of course, are going to crush, even without the Battle Machine, that feels good to pick up the three star, and what is winning, air versus ground? We will have to wait and see at the end of the episode, but I bet you can guess, considering that both accounts, both attacks, are being conducted without battle machines most of the time. Okay, just another quick check-in. Here we go. Gold Pass Clash, level 29. No Cash Clash, level 28. Feels bad, man, right? Oh, well. Anyway, here we go. No Cash Clash is finally going to get that level 29 upgrade going. Of course, right now, the time and upgrade cost is the same for both accounts, and that's because it was early in the June season that we did these upgrades. But it doesn't matter. Gold Pass Clash still had the huge advantage of the additional Rune of Builder Elixir, and that is going to make all of the difference in this race. Also, it didn't hurt. Baby Dragons are just, just a little bit more effective, for me anyway, than Ground. And I found that, especially with the Battle Machine, we picked up a lot of three stars, that was nice. It's also easy if you're looking for a low maintenance attack. Definitely use the baby dragons. And look at this confidence right here. The confidence that 98% was enough and we were right. We got it done. Also, this was a little bit deeper into the June season. So guess what? That's right. The discounts are active. Three days, nine hours, less than the last upgrade. And we are going to be done. That's right. Again, skipping ahead three days. You guys don't have to wait for all this stuff. I make the videos so that we can press all of this gameplay down into one tight, compact, handy, easy to digest 10 minute video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I also have a feeling that uh, we have one more episode to go because we need to see the trials and tribulations of a free to play account getting a sixth builder, right? Okay, I tried to take the gem line over to the home village because at this point, let's just be honest. There's no reason to come back, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and get on my soapbox for just a moment and rant and rave. Supercell, the Clash of Clans team, has abandoned the builder base. They don't care. They don't care about it. They have left you players hanging that like the builder base. But while I feel bad for you enthusiasts of the builder hall, I have to say that I prefer they spend their energy, time, and resources working on new and cool stuff for the home village. Okay. There it is, as you can see, auto going to level 5, and Gold Pass Clash has emerged victorious, just like it will on the road to max at the home village. The Gold Pass is the best value in the game, and I don't have to tell you, do I, that if you use code Galadon before you buy that Gold Pass, that I will love you forever, and you also help out charity? Yeah, okay, slick little squeeze in of use code Galadon, but let's go over and take a rare look in the race to six builders at the home village as we pop in the sixth builder there it is we had a spot all set out for it and um well wait a minute now th that means we have to move the builder over here notice it still shows only five builders he has to travel you've got to go over there and click there's a couple of different places you can click to get him to move over the little tiny boat by the dock of course on the builder hut itself you can click travel or you can go to the Builder Hall and click travel from there. And there you go. Two builders, that looks pretty cool over there in the Builder Hall to have two builders free. But again, I don't plan on going back except for maybe clan games. That's really the only reason anybody, once they get the six builders, should or would play the Builder Hall. I encourage everybody to boycott playing it. Oh, I guess, wait a minute. That would have the opposite effect, right? The less you play it, the less they... Uh, never mind. Just play it if you like it. Okay, so we saw the builder was sleeping underneath the hut, so we went over to the progress base, and we tried to decide, man, what are we going to do with this extra builder? I really want to get these storages upgraded, but notice the dark elixir completely full, overflowing, bursting at the seams, so it is time to take the archer queen to level 54. Felt good. Six builders working 20% faster progress, towards max town hall 14 let's go ahead and take a peek at the progress reports for both of these accounts it is really the last time we need to look at gold pass clash and anything it did in the builder base uh -huh. it did finish ahead of no cash but wait no cash clash is not done so that will be the trophy mark that no cash clash will try to meet or beat 
on the way when it picks up the level 30 battle machine. Everything else, of course, is maxed out. The No Cash Clash account has a couple more levels to go. I believe that No Cash is on its way to level 29. So stay yeah. tuned. We've got one more episode of the Race of the Six Builder. Thank you, Galifan, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know that's why I love thinking about it. I appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gallidon! Gallidon! What's the matter, Gallidon? Did you run out of caffeine?